so welcome back guys so once again i welcome you to this tutorial of options data analysis and this time i'll show you how you can identify a trend day using options data analysis so guys first you have the question what is a trend day so a trend day is what every trader wants every trader wants every day to be a trend day why because there are two types of trend day one is a bullish trend day and a bearish trend day a bullish trend day starts exactly at the bottom of the day and gradually it moves up it has a strong trend at it ends almost at the top of the day so it starts at the bottom it ends at the top and a bearish trend day it starts exactly at the top of the day slowly it starts moving down it is having a strong trend and it ends the day at the extreme bottom of the market so a bullish trend day is a single day when the market only moves up a bearish trend day is a day when the market only moves down so those days are where the money is made because if you buy on the bullish trend day you can make big money on the longs and if you short sell on the bearish trend day you can make big money on the shorts but how to identify a trend day because when the market starts when the trend day slowly unfolds that time you do not know it is a trend day you can think that it can be a double distribution day market can move up market can once again move down once again move up once again move down so it is can be a range bound day but you don't know that time that it is a trend day but how you can identify that it is a trend day just from options data analysis so i'll show you that but before that if you are not yet subscribed to me in youtube this is the time to subscribe to this channel first so guys some small words about options data analysis so if you have not seen my previous videos on options data analysis i first recommend you to watch the previous videos because there i explained about how to analyze the options data very easily so i'll give you the links to the previous videos in this video description so from there you can watch those videos now guys this is the open interest page there are two open interest pages on my website you can come down to my website stockmaniacs.net in the market section there is open interest if you put your mouse on the open interest you will see nifty open interest and bank nifty open interest as the name suggests you will get nifty open interest data on the nifty open interest page and you will get bank nifty open interest data on the bank nifty open interest page now here on the open interest page there is nifty option data signal and vwap signal this is the first table you need to consider this table only so here you can see the first column is time so the data being plotted from 10 o'clock so 10 10 15 10 30 and so on so every 15 minutes there can be a one minutes gap so instead of exactly 10 am it can be 10.1 instead of 10 15 it can be 10 16 instead of 10 30 it can be 10 31 but the data will be plotted every 15 minutes so the first column is time second column is call change of open interest third column is put change of open interest so coi means change of open interest and the fourth column is coi difference means the difference of the change of open interest and then the data signal then the put call ratio value then the future sell tp and then the vwp value and then the vwp signal so ccoi and pecoi coi difference so we always minus the ccoi from pecoi so pecoi minus ccoi is the coi difference so if the coi difference is positive that means there are more puts on the system 
so put change of open interest minus call change of open interest so this is positive that means there are more puts on the system so people are buying more puts so we will go against the people and we will short sell the market but for this interference to reach to this conclusion we need to check the data for some time so this is not the thing that the first data came and i have seen that there are more puts on the system and i aggressively short sold the market so i need to check the data first so you can see this is how the data comes and there are also futures last traded price or futures ltp and vwp if the last traded price is above vwp it is a buy if the futures last traded price is below vwp it is sell so this is as simple as this now how we can identify a trend day because you can see today is 18th of may today the data is buy then sell 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 all the sale are there on the data signal front and the vwp signals were buy then the vwp signal also changed to sell so whenever both the signals changed to sell the futures last traded price was 16312 from there you can see the power of the signals both the signals were sell so you can short sell the market that time the futures last traded price was 16312 from there it came down to 16263 16240 so you have got almost more than 50 points on the single move so this is how you can interpret the data but this day is not a trend day because this day initially it was buy the vwp signals was buy then it changed to sell so guys we can see today is not a trend day so i'll give you example of a trend day and guys yesterday was a trend day so yesterday's date was 17th of may 2022 so i have collected some screenshot of yesterday and i'll show you how you can identify whether it is a trend day in the morning itself so let me take you to those screenshots so guys i have opened the data signal of yesterday you can see 17th of may 2022 you can see the data was initially buy the first two data was buy on the data signal front and then it was a strong buy so then it was a strong buy the third data the 1030 data told us that it is a strong buy vwp signal was also buy so we are seeing 1 2 3 4 4 4 signals printed as strong buy so within 11 15 candle we know it is a strong buy for the last 4 15 minutes so these are all 15 minutes data and pcr was at that time pcr was still negative and at 1130 candle at 1131 the data came at 1131 we got everything green so strong buy on the data signal the pcr is positive and the vwp signal is buy so we thought that the market will move up it is a trend day because everything is green there is no red so everything is green strong buy positive pcr vwp signal buy it is a trend day so at that time the futures last traded price was 16113 from there 16143 16126 16108 16124 16136 16147 16172 16136 so still the market is a bit range bound so but it is higher than 16113 first when the trend day was detected so let us now go to the next image you can see that data was still 1331 right so 16136 16169 16182 16198 16215 16240 16264 16 to 48 16 280 so guys let me go back from 16113 till 16280 
so it is a rally of 170 points it is a trend day my dear friends it is a trend day so guys same in bank nifty bank nifty was a bit weaker so the trend day confirmation came at 1146 you can see it was a strong buy bank nifty was a strong buy and pcr was positive and the vwp signal was also buy it was an 1146 candle price was 34133 34133 34100 34083 34088 34083 34142 34063 let us check the next page that previous page i'll check back once 1331 so next we will calculate from 1331 so 13 34,216, 34,249, 34,247, 34,283, 34,344, 34,301. So let me go back to the previous page. So 34,133, whenever we have identified it is a trend day. 34,133, till 34,133, till 34,2. 358 you can see 34 358 so 133 to 358 so 225 points rally by identifying the trend day so this is the power of options data analysis my dear friends and you can identify the trend day and you can make good money on the single day so now guys let us check the charts so let us go to the charts let me check the screenshot of the chart you can see this is bank nifty chart it is a trend day the market has actually opened close to the day's low only once it has moved down then it has moved up slowly and steadily so this is a nice uptrending move this is the trend day and we have identified without seeing the charts so we did not need to see the charts and we have identified this is a trend day let me check the chart of nifty you can see exactly market opened near the low of the day this was the opening candle from there it has started moving up small correction moved up small correction moved up small correction moved up and closed at extreme top of the day so this is how a trend day occurs and you can identify the trend day using our options data analysis so guys i have shown you how you can identify the trend day how you can enter the trades and guys you need to comment me when you have seen the previous trend day before yesterday's market so and on the next trend day whenever you will see the next trend day you will also comment on the same video below this video there are comment box so i will be encouraged if you send me comments and guys if you have liked this video do hit the like button share this video with your friends and relatives and guys you can join my team also so i do not have any paid service so you can only join by opening a trading and demat account under me with my partner brokers so i do suggest to join zerodha under me so the link to join zerodha and other brokers are given in this video description so you can click there and you can join under my trading team and you can get more from me so more knowledge and more data so if you join me so guys i'll try to show you how to catch a fish i'll not give you a ready-made fish rather i'll try to show you how to catch a fish join my trading team and i'll show you how to catch a fish so guys once again if you have liked this video do hit the like button share it with your friends and relatives and if you are not yet subscribed to me in youtube do hit the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell icon and guys more options data videos are coming stay tuned till i come up with a new video till then bye bye